this is a combination of lots of hard work for many government departments and many soldiers over the, over the years, almost back since the 70s, I believe, um, in the Gilbert Report, which acknowledged that we should be doing this. So it has now come to fruition. Um, so I think this is the finish line, or at least the starting line of a new race. Um, but you have to recognize the folks that have put in a significant amount of work to make this happen. What was the impetus that finally made that happen this, this past year? Real driving force is um, Bermuda is a member of the International Maritime Organization, the IMO. Um, and last year, supposed to be in November, Bermuda was supposed to be audited. And one of the things out of the pre audit of that was Bermuda needed a recognized Coast Guard because of the capability of search and rescue uh, environment. Uh, things of that nature. And as you said, water is a vast space out there. COVID actually sped the process up. Um, we had to sit there and February 6th last year is when we actually uh, created the Coast Guard um, and opened it. We were very happy that the new legislation has come into play and that was on January the 29th. That has afforded the Coast Guard the same powers that the police had um, and that allows us to our do our job effectively. How have you handled that over the past year in finding people that might be out, you know, out after curfew or you know, not obeying the law on the water? When the curfew took effect, um, we've had some serious challenges. The um, hardest one is actually having the public helping us, um, letting us know uh, they're seeing people, no different than what they see on land right now, if, um, the, the hotline they called in. Um, we get the same tips. Um, the other thing is we do quite a bit of patrolling. Um, the Coast Guard facility is 24-7. Um, since we started on um, March 27th with the embodiment of COVID, the place has not been unmanned. Um, with that, we're on the water quite a bit. We've done over a thousand patrols uh, since March 27th. How many vessels do you have and how many people are involved? Um, President, right now the Coast Guard has nine vessels of um, different sizes. We have nine regiment and seven police working with us, so a total of 16 people. Um, that keeps us running, like I said, 24-7, um, and we work on a rotate, shift rotation. The regiment has a part-time, so does the police, have a reserve police. Um, so with that, our unit will be uplifted with our part-time soldiers and part-time police, or reserve police, and that will give us our bolster our numbers up. So that total number we're looking at will actually give us 40 people in total that we're working towards which would be a massive increase. I think it's safe to say that there are two ways to Bermuda. Um, and with the airport being covered as it is, the next avenue is the water. And we view all the threats in, the, in a similar way. And I believe the Coast Guard will continue to go out and exercise their duties knowing that there is a threat that does exist.